Feeling hungry? It's time to whip something up in the kitchen. But before you do, we've got some awesome food hacks to make things a little easier on you. After you pop in some chopped up red onion and cilantro, tomato chunks and cheese, crack a couple of eggs and drop them right into the bag. Fold the bag a bit so it's closed and shake it to mix everything together. Then put the bag into a small pot of boiling water. After about 10 minutes or so, take the bag out, using tongs as not to burn yourself. Once it's cooled down a bit, dump the contents onto a cutting board. Once you've chopped it up into square pieces, like this, put toothpicks in them for easy grabbing. Ooh, ketchup? Great idea! Things are about to get poppin' in here. If you have some unpopped kernels, try putting them in here. Think it'll pop like it would in the microwave? Uh-oh, it looks like something's bubbling in there! Did you see that? It actually worked! I can't believe it! Here, you do the honors, Vic. Well, that wasn't very nice, now was it, Sophia? Don't worry, there are plenty more where that came from. After laying down some tin foil, lay down your favorite slice of bread on top of it. Once you add your favorite cheese, add on another piece of bread. Now fold up the foil, completely enveloping the sandwich. Once you've done that, press your iron right onto the foil. Then you can flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Once it's done, let it cool for a second before you touch it. Okay, it's go time! Check it out! It's perfectly toasted grilled cheese! Better cut it in half before the cheese cools off! Now let's get some of that melted cheese action! Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Have an empty ketchup bottle? Rinse it out with water so it's clean. Once you've done that, you can pour pancake batter in it. Put in as little or as much as you'd like, depending on how much you're making. Well, that's sure a lot of batter. Screw on the cap and you're good to go! Now you can avoid the mess by dispensing just the right amount of pancake batter every time. Whoa, this is gonna be a big one! Okay, it's just about time to flip it over. Nicely done! And before you know it, you'll have a whole stack of those bad boys! Whoa, is that entire plate just for you, Sophia? Oh uh, yeah, this will definitely get the job done! In a big plastic bag like this one, pour in all the ingredients you need to make guacamole. Once they're all in there, seal up the bag tight. Now comes the super fun part, squishing it all with your hands. Use your fingers to really mash the avocado and rub the ingredients together. Once you're done mashing, push all the guac towards the bottom of the bag. But instead of opening the seal, cut a small hole in the corner of the bag. This way, you can dodge messes as you pour the guacamole into your serving bowls. Let the dipping begin! Hold on a second. Now that's better. Take a slice of bread and use a glass to make a hole in it. Kinda like a cookie cutter. Do this to a few pieces in the loaf. Now you can pour your candy in! It's the perfect hiding spot! And don't forget the top piece! Take a tortilla and slice it halfway like this. Then add different things to each quarter. It can be toppings or condiments. Then fold each quarter like this, one fold at a time. Last one! Perfect! Now it's totally spill-free! Here! So yummy, right? Let's take those cheese slices and cut them into smaller pieces. Now we're gonna stick this plate with the slices into the microwave. Just gonna let the microwave do its microwavy magic. What are you planning? Trust me, this is gonna work. And they're done! Time for your better snack! Oh wow! The cheese pieces turned into crispy cheese bites! I'll take one of these wooden skewers and a marshmallow. Gonna just slide the marshmallow onto this skewer. I can actually fit more than one! Just gotta leave a bit of space between them. There we go! Three marshmallows ready to go! The toaster is plugged in and ready to go. The marshmallows can just sit on top of the toaster and start to roast. Gotta keep turning the skewer so the marshmallows don't burn. And they're cooked! Roasted marshmallows in the comfort of my own home. Just gonna add my graham crackers and chocolate. Time to slide the marshmallow off the stick. 
Hello, you delicious s'more! Ooh, so gooey and good! And I've got two more! I'm so bad at chopsticks! Maybe if I just get closer to the sushi… Oh, this isn't working either! Gonna try it with two hands! It's working! <laughs> no! Catch it! Why does my sushi snack have to be so hard to eat? It's not fair. Listen, Jennifer. I'll help you out. I'm gonna need your straw, though. I'm going to take your chopstick and slide it into the straw halfway. Now to put the other chopstick in the other side. And now they're ready. Time to fold the straw in half. And done! Your new, easier-to-use chopsticks are ready! Oh, wow! Time to try them out! Come here, you little sushi roll! Oh, it's working, Annie! Look! Oh, this sushi tastes so good! You're welcome! This is gonna be a great snack. A little more. And stop. The perfect amount. Just gotta make sure it's mixed perfectly. Uh-oh. Oh no! There was too much cereal dust! My cereal turned to mush! Ew! <laughs> It looks terrible! I'm glad I'm not you. Ah ha ha! I'm Annie with my perfect fruity snack! <gasps> that gives me an idea! Gonna need this colander. Put the fruit in a bowl and the colander in the sink. Now time to pour some cereal into the colander. And shake 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 the cereal in the colander. All the dust is getting filtered out! Look at how much there is! And now only the good cereal is left. Jennifer. Why did you need my colander for your cereal? So I could have better cereal, of course! Add just the right amount of coconut milk. Well, maybe I could take a taste of your cereal? Oh, you want a taste? Sure! Before you cut and squeeze your orange, roll it first. Just give it a nice firm roll on your table. It makes a huge difference. Um, how is rolling an orange gonna help me get juice? It's easy! Especially if you have a straw like this. And just like that, you have your own personal orange drink right out of the orange! It's so good! Oh, wow! Just pour cooked noodles onto a waffle griddle. Spread them out a little bit, then press it nice and tight. So crispy! Whew, it's hot! Look how fresh these things are! And into the syringe they go! You don't expect me to eat them whole, do you? Okay, this one's for you. Bottoms up! Look at all that delicious juice! So sweet! Have pink chocolate? You'll need to melt it first. Now to work on the lipstick. Take out the makeup like this. Then carefully pour in the chocolate. Not too much. And once it hardens, it looks like the real deal! And when no one's looking… Take a giant bite! Mmm! <laughs> Ouch! What did I ever do to you? It's like a war zone in here! I've had enough of this! That bottle looks pretty strong. Oh yeah! Empty the bottle and stick in your cooking utensil. Once the bottom's cut off… Just stick your arm on in! So smart! Interesting… Hey! Have you ever tried this hack? Put the bread on a plate. And fold the cheese like this. Then place it in the middle. Then cut out a circle with a glass. Make sure it cuts both pieces. Take the circle out and pop it into the toaster. Smells good! Little cheese toasties, anyone? Awesome! And look at this perfect melt! Thanks for the tip! Mmm! So delicious! <sighs> that was some good sleep. Is this new? Hope you have milk in here. And I'm gonna use a big bowl today. Or any bowl, for that matter. Oh man! How am I supposed to eat this stuff now? I guess breakfast is a no-go. 
Unless I think outside the box. Or rather, inside this box. Pierce a hole at the bottom of the box and carefully cut the front off. Now move the scissors to the bag inside. Pour in the milk. And you've got yourself a bowl, baby! Gah! The coffee machine! This stuff really flies! How do I even clean this? It's too hot to touch! Which may have worked in my favor. It's like a little pancake griddle! Who knew? It probably tastes good, too. Oh yeah. Pass the oil. We're kicking this thing into high gear. Who knew this thing could be so versatile? And who doesn't love mini pancakes? Whoa, look at this guy go! Time to flip. Very nice. Can we speed this up? We're hungry. Okay, it's looking just about ready. We're getting a pretty good stack going here. Ah, hello, frosting. Thanks for the tip. Why do cupcakes have to be so messy? I think I have a solution. In one swift move, you can have yourself a cupcake sandwich. Now the frosting is nice and secured. And it still tastes like heaven. That's seriously brilliant, Bella! One little twist. And poof! Sandwich time! Oh yeah, that's good stuff! Cheers, girl! Apples? Hold tight, Vicky, I gotcha. I just need a little bit of time, okay? First, put a couple of apples in the freezer. Huh? Just give it some time. Do your thing for a bit, okay? She'll thank me later. And now I wait. Music always passes the time. I'm knocking you down, Mr. Apple! It's about time! How you doing in there, apples? Yep, it's frozen all right. Once it's defrosted, you'll notice it's a bit softer. That means it's time to start juicing. And with your bare hands, no less. Look at all that delicious juice! Nothing like fresh apple juice, right? Vicky's gonna love this. Cheers to me! You made corn? Don't mind if I do! Uh-oh. We've got a problem here. It's probably best if I sit this one out. My orthodontist would kill me. Aw, you can't eat corn with me? Not with this metal mouth. It's not fair. I'm sorry. Want one of these? They're good! It's no corn on the cob, that's for sure. And it doesn't have the same juiciness. Just look at that bite. I'm just left with a stick. Actually, maybe this thing can come in handy. Let me see this thing. What if I stick the skewer all the way through? Ha! The kernels pull right off! Oh yeah. Whoa! You don't need braces to appreciate this hack. Uh. How long has this been frozen, Bella? Nothing's going right in my life! I can fix this! Melt ice cream, melt! Ah! I think I know what will work! Some water? Ow! That's hot! Which is exactly what we want. Just submerge the ice cream in the hot water. That should do it. Vicky's gonna have some relief in no time. Yes! That's some creamy goodness right there. Here you go, Vic. Eat as much as you want, okay? Mm, this is the full fat stuff. Here, you have some too. 
That workout was brutal. And now it's time to refuel. Hope this is enough. Aw, so cute! One egg coming in hot! Let's fry this sucker! What's going on here? Ugh! Well, that was unexpected. I have the worst luck. Now what am I gonna eat? Sophia's blow dryer! Can I borrow this? Thanks! Was his hair even wet? Alrighty! Heat is on the way! <laughs> so excited! The egg is changing, see? It's just about done! Oh, Tio? Do you mind? I gotta put a lock on our bathroom. <sighs> At least I have breakfast! Yay! First bite's always the best! Mmm! Ever feel like two hands aren't enough? Gotcha! You're making things so hard on yourself. Check out this awesome trick. Don't forget about the fries. Got any ketchup? Who needs a table with this setup? Bon appetit, Sophia. Thanks! Now I can use my hands again. Or not. Hey, whatever works for you. Mmm, so salty. Someone get this girl a napkin already. She's getting grease everywhere. Oh no, she wouldn't. Not the hair! Hey! What? Ugh, they are pretty nasty, huh? But with no napkins in sight, you've gotta think outside the box. Here! Why didn't I think of this? Now your fingers don't touch anything. Pretty handy, right? If I fold this half of the box up, I can clip my tablet against it. See? And with one little adjustment… We've got dinner and a movie, people! And two free hands means more pizza! Oh yeah, things are getting crazy! When it comes to chowing down, everyone has their own way of doing things. First fries. Then the burger. This one's gonna be good. And the first bite's the best part! Unless, of course, this happens. But this totally could've been prevented. Check it out! Next time you go in for the first bite, Assess your surroundings first. All the burger's contents are intact. Reviewing bag's interior. And it looks like we have a winner! Good thing you didn't throw that thing away. Because it's about to save the day! Simply place your burger inside. And everything will stay in place as you bite. Mmm, that's so good! Yeah! How long was I on the phone? Oh, so much for a refreshing treat. Bummerville! Party of one! Unless… I think I just struck gold! Without the straw, this lid becomes something else. Like an ice cream cone holder. No melted ice cream on these fingers. You really should eat that, though. There you go. Hey! Wanna experiment? Take an empty bottle and funnel in some baking soda. That amount should do. Then pour in some vinegar. Get that extra bit of baking soda. Then fill the bottle about halfway. Put the balloon over the bottle. And just like that, you've got yourself a little helper. Then take it off, just in time! Wow! Why waste your breath, right? This thing lasts for quite a while. I think we're ready for the party now! What are you doing? This feels really gross! 
But at least it's easy access. In fact, why not make this easier? Without the sleeves, I can turn it around. And eat without having to touch a thing. Yum! That's actually kind of brilliant. Now this is some smart gaming. And you never have to stop to snack. This is seriously awesome! Okay. I'm more interested in a meal. Anything good around here? Bingo! I'm always in the mood for cereal. All I need now is a… bowl? What is that stuff? Gross! Hey, a bowl! Wait! Guess we're not using that. Can't I just eat it out of this? Put the box down flat like this. Then cut a square out of the top. Nice! Once you remove it, you have yourself a bowl. The plastic holds it all quite nicely. Looks pretty good. Don't forget the spoon. Hey, did you make that yourself? And want to know the best part? No dirty dishes to do! <gasps> I have the most brilliant idea! But first things first, it's tape time! With just a few strips, I can create a special cooling contraption. A few knots here, and voila! Wanna see it in action? With every bite, the fan cools off the noodles. What's this? I have to cook dinner? Mom's already coming home! Think, Lizzie, think! Oh man, could I make pasta? I'll make it fast in this thing. Take a mug. And pour in dry pasta and water. Then off to the microwave it goes. Come on, hurry! Can this thing go any faster? Ooh, it's pretty hot. It totally cooked, see? Add some milk and your favorite cheese. Let the heat melt it all together. Looks pretty yummy, huh? Super instant mac and cheese! Welcome home, mom! Cheesy pasta, my favorite! This looks delicious, sweetheart! You need to focus, Lizzie! Focus on this bowl of candy, you mean? Seriously? Is everyone's mom this strict? Just gotta get a little sneaky. See this big round brush? Turns out it's hollow inside. Simply pour your candy in. What is that racket? Um, that better not be candy! Quick, get it all inside here! And make it look like you're working! Nothing to see here! See this plastic ball? Open it up and stick in your favorite candy! Now put a glob of hot glue here. Then stick a giant stick to it. Then wrap it with your favorite paper. Oh, Lizzie, Still missing your lollipop? How about two giant ones? They sound like maracas, right? Now this is something to dance about! Huh. My special food hack should come in handy. First, pour some milk into the jar. Then stir it all with a spoon. Hello, frothy chocolate milk! And into the molds you go. Once they're full, pop in the stick lids. Then put them in the freezer. Let's see how they turned out! So good! Not before the last step! That's right, we're talking about sprinkles, people! Look how colorful it 
it is now. It's all yours, Sophia. Let's see here. Oh, this thing really is shut tight. Don't think we're eating chips today. Well, we got what we wanted. Kind of. What just happened? I don't want to clean this mess. So I'll just eat it. It's like I showered in snacks! Okay, just wait a minute. We can wipe it all up. Unless… This thing's more versatile than I thought! Take the plastic piece off the wipes. Grab your favorite bag of chips. Stick this piece on, and you've got a safe little chip package. Take an empty soap dispenser. Screw off the lid. And with a funnel, pour in the ketchup. See how easy it's going in? That should be enough. And pop the spout back on! Alright, Emma. Let's try this again. Wow! Why haven't we thought of this before? Let's try it. It's just the right amount. You want to patent this, Liz? And now for the best part. Huh. That fishing line gives me a great idea. He's not gonna know what hit him. And done! I tied the cup to the key using the fishing line. And now I'll just drop the key into the soda can. Time to start pouring the soda into the cup! Oh hey! Yeah, I'm just pouring some soda. I told you to stop bugging me! What? Huh. It, it seems like those girls really like him. So, I guess that means if I learn magic, uh, I'll be amazing too! Okay. <laughs> Looks like I have some Tic Tacs and a highlighter. I can definitely make this work! I've got my Tic Tacs and my highlighter ready to go. All I've gotta do is color in the clear container. I don't wanna color the label, though. And I can't forget these corners. I'm ready to impress the girls. <laughs> hey! I've got something to show you! Take a look at my orange Tic Tacs! Except… Just like that, I can turn them white! Whoa! How did he do that? Killer magic trick! Okay, I'll spread this tortilla out on parchment paper and then use olive oil. I don't need too much. Just enough to brush across the surface. Just got to spread it evenly around. Now for some seasoning. Salt and pepper should do. Perfect! Now it's ready for the next step. Into the oven it goes! Look at that! It's starting to crisp up! Mmm, it smells so good! And it's toasty warm! Look at this masterpiece! He's gonna be so shocked! This has to be a joke, right? I mean, how are we supposed to eat them? Don't look at me. I have no idea. Well, good thing I carry around this hammer! Nah. What I really need is a saw! Ugh, what am I thinking? This is a job for power tools! Hey, what the heck are you doing? She's just getting all the juice and none of the seeds! How did you do that? <laughs> Give it here and I'll show you. You're gonna put it on its side and then split it in half. There's all the fruit inside, wrapped around the little seeds. You're gonna have to get all those little fruity seeds out. Then it's the easy part. Get a giant syringe and start filling it. Put in as many as can fit. Now it's time for the plunger. There you go! It's ready for you to squeeze in your mouth! 
Mmm! It's so good! I don't have to worry about any of the seeds! You're a genius! 